Welcome to my channel Living Linux. In this video, I want to show you Stable Diffusion 1.5 running on the NPU of the Rockchip RK3588. So the developer, he posted this on Reddit and he says 30 seconds per image. Now I wasn't able to do it that fast but um, it's still very impressive that you can get it in sort of like a minute or two minutes running on the MPU of a very affordable chip. Now he gave the link to his project So that one is here and I'm guessing he's Chinese. So he starts with the explanation in Chinese. And when you scroll down, there's the explanation in English. So I'm running with the Ubuntu 24.04 image from Joshua Rick, and that one has the Rockchip MPU driver. Uh, I think with a recent image of Armbian, you also get the MPU driver. And well, from what I noticed is that perhaps you have to install pip first. So you can install it like this. And I had to install two more modules, Torch and Transformers. And when I tried to run it, I actually ran into this error message. So you have to download a file. from here at least the good part is is that it gives the URL for the file so otherwise you might uh, have to look in a lot of places to actually find it so you can click on it and then you can download it And then it says move it to user lib. So you have to do that as sudo or at least with elevated rights like this. This is how you clone the code. So that is the this URL. And then once you've downloaded the code, uh, you can go into the directory. It should look very similar to this. You might miss images because that will get generated once you generate an image. So if we go to the terminal and then we'll open another one just to be sure. Um, so we can have a look at the MPU load. And well, he says to run it. It's a very long command. Uh, I'll also put this all in the description of the video. So I'm running from a micro SD card, so that's not the fastest way to do things. So it's better to run it from an SSD, like from an NVMe drive. But just for demo purposes, we're running from a micro SD card and we'll try to generate an image. And you can see for inference steps, it's rather low for stable diffusion, I think. 
but um, the result is reasonable. So let's see, we'll start it. Okay, it starts doing things. So let's see if we see any load on the MPU. Not yet. So I guess it's loading the model. So probably now we should see load. Or I was, ah, there. There you see load on the MPU. Seems it's only using one core. So perhaps uh, it can become even faster when they are able to use uh, all three cores. Who knows? But I guess this is a typical approach of first make it work. And after that, you can make it faster and better. So now it's finished. So if we go into images, then it will create a directory with the same name as your prompt. And it looks... Uh, not exactly the same, it looks a little bit similar, although with this one it might be, well, more like the golden hour. So sunset, or perhaps sunrise, who knows. Um, yeah, it's not very detailed. Sometimes you get the impression that it is a bit like a watercolor painting. But at least with the trees, it looks reasonable. But I think the performance on just the MPU is very impressive. And although it's only four iteration steps, um, you get a reasonable result. Although I also tried it with a, a penguin on a surfboard. But my first attempt, yeah, this is really looks like watercolor painting. So I tried uh, also with realistic style. And then, oh no, th this one was with uh, 10 iteration steps. So, but then, yeah, you're, at least in this case, I lost a lot of the background. And, well, the water around the surfboard is still like watercolor. But, um, the developer says that he is working on porting Stable Diffusion 3.5 medium. So, yeah, if he can make that work and hopefully also on um, all three MPU cores, then it will be really interesting to see the result. So I had the plan to also test this on the Rockchip RK3578 uh, because that one has two MPU cores but those two MPU cores are a bit faster than the ones on the Rockchip RK3588 which has three MPU cores but unfortunately my Mikrotronics R57, it only has four gigabytes of memory. So 
Yeah, I might try it with uh, some swap memory, but of course that's not going to uh, speed up the process. Um, yeah, I might give it a try and uh, who knows that it's not so bad uh, running it from swap memory. Um, but this is interesting to see. Um, so you need eight gigabytes of memory yeah, you can try with swap memory, but that's definitely not recommended. And um, yeah, I really look forward to Stable Diffusion 3.5 medium. So uh, yeah, I have to take my hat off uh, for the de developer who made this. And um, I wish him really good luck with porting Stable Diffusion 3.5 medium. So that's all for now and I hope to see you again in my next video.